Evening, let's pray the rosary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And they shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead our souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead our souls to heaven, especially those who need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead us souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead us also to heaven, especially those in need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the promise of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in that now and for our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead us all to heaven, especially those in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee we cry for minus children of thee. To thee we descend our sighs, mourning and weeping in smiles and tears. Earn their most gracious advocate, and thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our song, so unto us the blessed fruit of thy Lord Jesus. O Clement, the loving, sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, who is life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the reward of eternal life. Run to the sixth gate by meditating upon this mysterious and most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We may be able to contain, contain what they promise for the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us, Christ hear us. Let the Father of heaven, let the Son and Redeemer of the world, let the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, one God, Holy Mary, Holy Mother of God, Holy Virgin of Virgins, Mother of Christ, Mother of Divine Grace, Mother most pure, Mother most chaste, Mother most holy, Mother inviolate, Mother undefiled, Mother most amiable, Mother most admirable, Mother good counsel, Mother of our Creator, Mother of our Savior, Virgin most prudent, Virgin most venerable, Virgin most renowned. Virgin most powerful, Virgin most merciful, Virgin most faithful, mirror of justice, set of wisdom, cause of our joy, spiritual vessel, vessel of honor, singular vessel of devotion, mystical rose, tower of David, tower of ivory, house of gold, ark of the covenant. Gate of heaven, morning star, health of the sick, refuge of sinners, comfort of the afflicted, help of Christians, queen of angels, queen of patriarchs, queen of apostles, queen of martyrs, queen of confessors, queen of virgins, queen of all saints, queen who saved without original sin. Queen of women to heaven, Queen of the most holy rosary, Queen of peace, La 
Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. God, we beseech thee, O Lord, that by your servants we enjoy lasting health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to deliver from present sorrow and turn into the joys of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the memory, remember, O most precious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection in glory of God or so the intercession was left unheeded. Inspire with this confidence, I cry unto thee, Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to you I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, Mother of the world incarnate, despise not my condition, but in your mercy, bear and answer me. Amen. Well, let us pray uh, nine Hail Marys to end the pandemic of coronavirus with the intercession of our Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins and now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins and now and at the hour Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Let's pray uh, the novena to our mother of perpetual health. Please stand.
brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. All together. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this you make us your children to love one another. How many times in the past we have forgotten his sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us, repenting sincerely of our sins. We ask your mercy. May we always leave as your truly devoted children. Petition Prayer for the propagation of the Marian devotion, especially Our Lady of Perpetual Help and Our Lady of Piat. For the success of the mission of La Pieta International Prayer Group, especially the humanitarian mission for the less fortunate. For world peace. For victims of natural and man-made calamities and catastrophes around the world, especially the gun violence in Chicago and the coronavirus pandemic. For all the policemen and women, the firefighters, the paramedics, and the frontliners, may the gifts of the Holy Spirit be in their hearts to guide them in the performance of their duties, to strengthen their perseverance to overcome all obstacles they encounter in their jobs. May God protect them. For financial help, for success in studies, for finding and stability in a job, for guidance in making the right decisions, love, peace, unity, and understanding among family members and the community, for mental, physical, and spiritual well-being of families and loved ones, for the recovery of all sick relatives, benefactors, and friends who are included in the petition book of Our Lady of Perpetual Health, and also the names that will be mentioned in the general inter intercessions for thanksgiving of all favors and graces received, and for all of us gathered here this evening. Please stand. <laughs>
gave you the buds for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on our sure children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially in this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost cross us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that anyone who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same while praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all your present at this novena. We earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended you. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely to God together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a true Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children, that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, to your special interest in the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility, that we may be our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We thank you as our model. Help us to grow daily in chin and love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire human family. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Health, Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health, pray for us. We sinners call to you. Amen. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Amen. That we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you wear. Amen. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your son Jesus. Amen. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepentant sin. Amen. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. That we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. That we may
may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Have wrong us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. That we may be blessed with an increase of Christian and religious vocations. That we may care and protect God's creation. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. That our departed brothers and sisters could be shared in your Son's resurrection. Let us pray in silence for our own intention. All together, Holy Mary, pray for us, pray for all people of God, may all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Turn to page 9. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. We graciously hear our prayer for the sin, especially. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Wednesday dedicated to Our Lady of Perpetual Help, to the Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us ask for the Our Lady's intercession as we come together to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us now call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our reading from the first book of Kings. The Queen of Sheba, having heard of Solomon's fame, came to test him with subtle questions. She arrived in Jerusalem with very numerous retinue and with camels bearing spices, a large amount of gold and precious stones. She came to Solomon and questioned him on every subject in which she was interested. King Solomon explained everything she asked about, and there remained nothing hidden from him that he could not explain to her. When the Queen of Sheba witnessed Solomon's great wisdom, the palace he had built, the food at his table, the sitting of his ministers, the attendants and guards of his waiters and his banquet service, and the burnt offerings he offered in the temple of the Lord, she was breathless. The report I heard in my country about your deeds and your wisdom is true, she told the king. Though I did not believe the report, until I came and saw with my own eyes. I have discovered that they were not telling me the half. Your wisdom and prosperity surpassed the report I heard. Blessed are your men. Blessed these servants of yours who stand before you always and listen to your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God, whom it has pleased to place you on the throne of Israel. In his enduring love for Israel, the Lord has made you king to carry out judgment and justice. Then she gave the king 120 gold talents, a very large quantity of spices and precious stones. Never again did anyone bring such an abundance of spices as the Queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon, the word of the Lord. Yes. Responsorial Psalm, the mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way, trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of a just man tells wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of this God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The salvation of just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them. 
them, because they take refuge in him. Temple that you build. 
Because wisdom is not only what comes out from the mouth, but also what you do as a person. In our gospel, it is the contrary. It is Jesus telling his disciples, again, it's continuation of the gospel yesterday from Mark 7, 1, and now we read Mark 7, 14. It is, it's not what comes into the person that make that person dirty. It is what comes out from him. He enumerated at the gospel today, evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, so on and so forth. We go to church, maybe for some of us every day. Some we go on Sunday, some goes to church on a special occasion. But whatever it is, the question must be asked is, what do we do after the Mass? We come here, we worship the Lord in the Eucharist. We pray in front of the image or the picture of uh, Our Lady of Perpetual Help. But the question is, now what's going to happen when we go out of the church? What do we murmur? Good things or bad things? The sad part or the reality sometimes is that when a person who has a higher or a high position in, in our government or in wherever it is, when that person curse, we laugh. When someone said, go rob those bishops and you might as well kill them, how our response? We were laughing. Is that a Christian way of living? I don't have any signs, but my point is, we come to church, we worship the Lord, and when we go out, what's our response? Today, I think it's a good reminder for all of us that we should not only listen to the beautiful words of many people, but also look for the good deeds that these people are doing in our community. Let's pray for our country, the Philippines. Let's pray for our own country here. Let's pray for each other, that as we worship the Lord, as we go out of the church, we only have good things that comes out of our, of our heart, of our mouth, because we're just people, like we heard in our responsorial song. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Trusting in God, let us now offer our needs, our intentions to our Heavenly Father. That the church may always be renewed and be purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring hope to the sparing more through our loving actions than through pious words. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our hearts may be filled with an honest desire to live for one another so that we may worship in spirit and in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the dying may be comforted 
by the Father of all love and mercy, especially Irma Maraguya, Harold and Helen II, Lilia Soriano, Pasita Barona, Gareth Briones, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased brothers and sisters may join in the true worship in heaven, especially Danny Gutierrez, Basilio Monares, Encarnacion Cipriano, Magdalena Cabrera Bautista, Beatriz Napil, Gregor Gorgonio Barcinia Jr., Jimmy Garcia, Aurelio Peña Sr., Rita Castillo, Roger Stagnani, Marcela Cruz, Nestor Soriano, Jeffrey Silvestre, Matias Machu, Tony Songo, Pete Hison, Isabel Catarini, Demetrio Quilao, Carl Hendricks Jr. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Anacleto and Edna Duval, Rosito and Lauriena Talud, Talud, Benedicta Barcenas Jr., Cornelio and Abundia Pineda, Teodora Castro, Felicitas Flores, Florante and Arsenio Madulalan, Moises Emilio Mandan, Rudy Rebolledo, and for the poor souls in Purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. For the continuous recovery of gentle Cabrera and thanksgiving for blessings received, for the continuous healing of Jose and Vivian Pahati and thanksgiving for graces received, for the successful surgery and speedy recovery of Maria Davila, Davila, let us pray to the Lord. For thanksgiving of gift of life of Aida at Sansar and the gift of life of Ludi Cruz, let us pray to the Lord. For all our personal petitions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Let us also include um, and pray for my parents as they celebrate their 30, 33rd wedding anniversary today um, for Ayatelita and Amado. And especially, let us pray for our country, our homeland, the Philippines, as we um, prepare to choose our future leaders. We pray to the Lord. Good and loving God, we offer you these prayers. We offer you and we know that you hear us. Please grant all the prayers that we say today and we hold in the silence of our hearts and grant them according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that we may that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord, and so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph and spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may grace and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
celebrate the Thanksgiving prayer. All together, Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all of the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love, to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through the Novena inspire us with greater confidence in God's love and mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in this love to the most holy trinity Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Amen.
the gates of heaven, and live forever with all your saints in the light you promised to Abraham and to all his descendants in faith. Guard him from all harm, and on that great day of resurrection and reward, help him with all your saints, pardon his sins, and give him eternal life in your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bears mercy and fullness of redemption. Let us pray as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord Jesus, our Redeemer, you willingly gave yourself up to death so that all people might be saved and pass from death into a new life. Listen to our prayers. Look with love on your people who mourn and pray for their brother and a friend. Lord Jesus, holy and compassionate, forgive and applaud to his sins. By dying, you open the gates of life for those who believe in you. Do not let our brother be parted from you, but by your glorious power, give him my joy and peace in heaven, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Bless us. Bless us. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.